Hello YouTube, just uh, following up to my video that I posted about maybe two months ago on the Energy Take uh, 5.1 Classic Speaker System. Uh, this is a follow up as to how I was able to set up um, my surround sound system for my uh, living area and the challenges that I had. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, again, this is not a how-to video. It's more of just a follow up to what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and tell you about what um, I ended up purchasing um, just you know so that you guys can uh, perhaps consider sort of putting the same package uh, for yourself. So what I ended up purchasing was a media bridge uh, 16 gauge speaker wire uh, you know roll which was like you know 999 on Amazon. I got the 24 uh, gold connector uh, banana plugs. Uh, it was like a, a pack of 24. It was on, it was a deal, I guess, uh, on Amazon as well. It was like 16.99. I got the Video Secure five black deluxe speaker mount brackets for walls um, and ceilings, which was 16.99 on Amazon. And you guys saw that, you know, on my previous um, video and how to assemble it and all that stuff. So that's what I ended up buying just so that I could have the setup. Um, I also went to Home Depot and I got something like really cheap for like five bucks and it's basically uh, a plastic uh, you know pathway or raceway um, so that you can run speaker wire through it and not have a messy uh, sort of look um, so I'll show you guys um, what you know that is as far as uh, how I set it up so that you guys could probably do the same let's get started all right, so uh, this is a small tour of how my living space is set up. So my door is right over here. So as I come in, this is an L-shaped room. And, you know, when I look at it, <clears throat> this is what you're looking at here. Now, problem number one for me was speaker placement. As you can see, this runs all the way to the edge of the wall. There's no space, there's no anything that I could do to set up my speaker the way I set this up. I actually wanted them set up a little bit closer. I didn't want them spread apart, you know, based on research and, you know, all the suggestions of people that know what they're talking about. Um, so I ended up having to do this um, for, you know, for my left and my right uh, channels and my center channel. Um, problem number two was how do I set up, you know, speaker wire that runs from my control center, I'm gonna call it, all the way to my corners here. Um, so that's basically what I'm gonna explain. I ended up just mounting the speakers, um, you know here in the side I didn't want to do the ceiling uh, because it's a stucco material or whatever and I don't own this facility so basically I wanted to do less damage um, and get what I needed so I just mounted it exactly how I showed you guys with the bracket you know to the stud and I just used a swivel mount here to pan it to the listener here or myself when I'm you know going to be sitting watching a movie so that's how I have this one set up and for my right uh, it's pretty straightforward you know again to the stud and I there's not much panting here because this actually covers a wide range here to this area right here so that's how I have these two set up um, and for my center channel since I can't mount it you know under because this is rock solid I have to um, leave it where it's at. That's probably the best position that I could find to get the best sound that I can for my living space because it's this is a pretty big room. Um, so that's how I have set, you know this set up. My rear is my surround left and my my right. You know, uh, basically I ended up setting up there and there. I wanted to do it in this area here, but obviously there's a duct there and there's another one right here. So the challenge was not to damage or puncture, you know, what's basically holding this here. I wanted to set it up here so that I could have a better angle, you know, but 
it's still pretty good. And the way you see this set up, it looks sort of like it's tilted and that's because the way it's designed and that's why these brackets came in handy. I set it up to the stud, straight out, then I used the extra swivel mount to pan it the way I need it to so that it looks directly down here, you know, in that area for your ears to, to have a clear listen of, you know, the ambient sounds and stuff. And the same thing with this one. I ended up setting it up to the stud, just panned it to where I need it, and here it comes down to the listener. Now, for how I ran the wire, uh, my control center is right here, and this is operated by, you know, an Onkyo uh, receiver. It's, uh, I believe, a um, TXN141. Uh, one, uh, I'm sorry, TXNR414. Um, so basically, I have the, the the speaker running, the speaker wire running from here all the way around. So I didn't want all my speaker wires showing. So I just contracted my friend who's really good with wood and working and all that stuff. So he helped me run the wire along the edge. And what we ended up doing is we took off this molding part here and shaped maybe about, I don't know, half an inch all around from there, all around to the edge there. And this is where that Home Depot cheap stuff, you know, that plastic uh, pathway comes in handy. This is an adhesive that sticks to the wall and you can get it in white or tan and because the color of my walls are a little bit tan that's why I got that one I just run it along the edge all the way up there same thing over there where I ran it from one end to the other so that it hides my wire and you don't even see that one because there's nothing over there I can't even run anything here because doesn't stick to the surface so I just ended up using the cracks in here to hide this wire and the same thing here just push it in and use a staple gun to hold stuff here you know so it goes all around the edges so I have you know somewhat of a clean look so that's what I ended up doing for my setup very cheap you know very practical you know for someone on a budget like myself um, that's how I ended up setting up these All right now that you've seen how I set it up. I'm just gonna briefly mention how it sounds You can't really hear through your iPhone through your computer or through your headphones If you're plugged into a computer the way it would sound, you know, because I'm not recording this with expensive microphones It's a Canon power shop um, So I wouldn't really be able to demonstrate that for you um, I can only tell you and describe what it sounds like um, and you're basically going to have to take a chance if you want this particular set. It sounds great. I was coming off a 10 year old set. To me this is a major upgrade. Um, so for me, I'm a simple guy. Uh, it it's works perfectly. Highs, crisp, sharp, not annoying in any way, shape or form. Mids, the same. They're great you know, crisp, sharp, and the low end, the bass, you know, rumbles my entire complex and it's a two story, so there's no problem there. Uh, it works really great for the living area and the space, it really fills the room. Um, that 50 hour, uh, you know, play time that they recommend is definitely something that you do wanna do because at first, it was kind of sound, you know, a little flat, but as I've been playing it more and more, the sound starts to come alive. You know, you feel more of a vibrancy, more, more of a warmth, especially in a big room like this where a lot of sound reflects and things of that nature. Um, so that's really working well. Uh, I have no complaints as far as, you know, the levels. In my busy neighborhood during the day, if I'm watching TV, I have to turn it up to maybe about a 40 or 50 uh, you know, uh, decibel or as far as volume goes. Um, at night, I don't even go past the 35 because it's really good. I mean, you have those moments in movies, for example, and this is where the mids and the highs come into play, um, where you have a scene where it's very intimate, very, very soft-spoken, and there's just the actor's voice. 
that's where you really hear um, the mids and the high and, and the highs. It sounds really good at night. During the day, it's harder to hear again because it's busy out here. It's a street and you hear cars and everything, but it sounds really good. If you're watching action movies, you're gonna have to turn it down. You know, you gotta live in the 35 to 40 range um, because it's really, really powerful. So uh, it rumbles everything. This is where I can adjust um, the frequency, the low end frequency in the back. You can go halfway, full way, however you decide that you wanna listen to. Uh, all around, great sound, really fills the room. Um, it'll, it takes some time to warm up and the speakers to settle in. You know, experiment with your positions and how, how you need to uh, set up your speaker uh, so that you have the best sound for your living area. That's what I set up, that's how I set it up. Um, hope that helps you. And anyway, um, so if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and uh, peace.